All right, my name is uh, Corporal Marcus Davis. That's M-A-R-C-U-S-D-A-V-I-S. I'm with the Austin Police Department PIO unit. Case number of this incident is going to be 21029-1379. At approximately 9.02 p.m., officers with the Austin Police Department responded to a shoot, stab, hot shot located in the 1100 block of Mearns Meadow Boulevard. Upon arrival, uh, witnesses located a male in the roadway. Uh, EMS and fire responded to the scene and immediately started CPR on the subject. He was uh, eventually pronounced deceased. At that point, homicide as well as crime scene unit and the medical examiner offices is responding to the scene to conduct their investigation. Uh, we don't have any suspect description at this time. Should anyone know anything about this incident, please call the APD homicide tip line and that number is 512-477-3588. Uh, witnesses can also call the Crime Stoppers and remain 100% anonymous. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Can you give us more details? What was the role of a female? Uh, witnesses stated that they saw a female leaving the scene. Uh, I don't have any knowledge of a female being on scene and I don't have any suspect information at this time. Uh, officer, can you explain to me how, I, how long is this, uh, all these roads are going to be closed down to? So we are blocking the roadway here on Merns Meadow and we'll be here for many hours until uh, we conduct our investigation. I can't give you an exact timeline, but you can expect increased police activity in the area and trying to remain out of this area if at all possible. So well, what is to say there was any kind of altercation or anything like that leading up to this? I was not made aware of any type of altercation. Was the victim inside of the car or was he outside of the car? Uh, when officers arrived on scene, uh, the male subject was uh, located in the roadway. Okay. Can you clarify, was he laying in the street or was he in his car? From what I'm being told, uh, the subject was uh, in the roadway. Uh, now, it is possible that EMS and fire may have pulled him out of the vehicle, but I was not given that information. Do we know how many shots he received, how many impacts? Uh, so the medical examiner will be conducting an autopsy of standard procedures and they will determine the manner of death. So at this time we're only speculating that it was gunshots, but it could have been uh, through other means. What's the race of the victim? Uh, that information I do not have. Do you have an approximate age or is he, a, is he an adult? I do not have that information. Do we think there's a danger to the community? Uh, there's always a danger to the public anytime we don't have suspects in custody. We don't know if this was uh, a known subject or we don't know if this was a random incident. So I would continue to stress that if anyone has any information that they contact the homicide tip line or uh, they can contact Crime Stoppers or remain anonymous. Did other people have to be evacuated or were they able to remain their homes? Uh, as far as I know, there was not any evacuations that was done. Yes, uh, I do uh, anticipate us being out here through the night and into the early morning. Would there be a no suspect? Uh, what should people be looking at? So if anyone has any uh, video cameras that may have been in this area, uh, please contact uh, APD Homicide. That way that we can come out and review the, the videos that you may have. Uh, if anyone heard anything or has seen anything in the area prior to, uh, approximately 9 o'clock p.m. Uh, please let us know. If anything was out of place during this time, please let us know. Any other questions? Uh, as far as, uh, is it just a citizen that called 911? Did they hear shots? Did someone witness seeing it? Or? Uh, I'm not sure exactly uh, who the caller was, but all I know is that it, it was called in by a citizen, and uh, that's when we responded. Do you have any other questions? All right, thank you all so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Your name?